this great institution. I congratulate Makere for attaining a century of excellence in building a transformed society. <laughs> Many of us in our different professional spheres that are contributing to this country uh, started our career journey at this great institution. So we are proud to be associated. And indeed, the launch of these two programs signifies the great strides that the university is taking to ensure excellence in the professional landscape here in Uganda, and more specifically, the communication field. So when I received uh, the invitation to make this keynote address, specifically, they asked me to focus on the Master of Strategic and Corporate, corporate Communication. I was delighted, and for a long time, I've had several thoughts on the place of professional communication in Uganda. And these, have just, these thoughts have just remained in my head. So I'm glad to share these thoughts with you. But then again, I also realized that speaking about communication is not in my comfort zone. Though I studied communication for uh, three years plus one year at master's, and then I've worked for almost 17 years. It's not in my comfort zone to talk about communication. I'm more comfortable talking about the oil and gas sector. But <laughs> the invitation from uh, Dr. Aisha was specific. She wanted me to talk about the masters of strategic communication, strategic and corporate communication. So I hope you'll give me another platform to speak about the oil and gas sector because a lot is going on. It's a topic of interest. There are so many discussions. So I contemplated asking, can I sneak in a few things here and there? But I won't do that because we'll stay here for the whole afternoon. I have the basic academic qualifications. So my thoughts and uh, my sentiments are largely based on my journey in the communication profession, which spans close to 17 years in different public sector institutions as uh, Dr. Mbaini said, uh, mentioned. Uh, just like Dr. Uh, Dr. Sauda Namyalo said, the journalism, the school of journalism has grown in, within the university. And so the growth of uh, the department of journalism here can be likened to the landscape and the growth of the communication profession in Uganda. And just like in many African countries, we are seeing a growing recognition of the importance of strategic communication. Our aspirations as a country for transformation, as stated in our National Development Plan 3, I won't go through them, and each of the, but each of the programs within the National Development Plan, whether it's talking about petroleum development, human capital development, energy security, ETC, looks at the place of communication in our broader development as a country. So what is the place of communication? Communication needs to translate all these big things, all these big concepts, objectives, aspirations, to reality, to what the everyday person, the common man, the Ugandan can relate to. So our work in strategic communication is to translate all our aspirations into reality uh, for the everyday person. Therefore, as government works with the different partners, private sector development partners to achieve this social economic transformation, strategic communication is taking uh, center stage. This was not the case 